Hey there, everybody. Eric from Outer Limitless with Carlos from Daily Carry Solutions. We're here at Blade Show 2022 down in Atlanta. I'm at the Work Tough booth with none other than Zeke Minacho. What's up, guys? What's up, buddy? How's it going, man? Uh, fantastic. You know, after all this time, you know, talking on the phone, occasional little messages, social media posts, back and all forth. the back and forth. Yep. It is just awesome to be here with you in person, man. It really is. Man. Uh, yes. It never can happen enough. But I we're know. here. We're here. So listen, um, I believe, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, that right. you were put to a test. You, yes. were, you were challenged by the man himself, Vic Lynn. That's absolutely true. Tell us about that. Yes. So I was challenged by Master V, as I call him. I was challenged by Vic to go ahead and, uh, and get something out that was a fighting knife. So we came up with a little evil fighter. This little bad boy, I named him right after the uh, one of my favorite fighters of all time. He was a featherweight champ for the United, uh, for the uh, UFC Ultimate Fighting Championship. And uh, I figured what better to uh, uh, show something that punches way above its weight. We got a uh, five and seven and a quarter inch, uh, excuse me, five and three quarter inch cutting edge on this version of it. That handle is all about the ergonomics. We got M2 speed steel. You could look at all the details on that. We went with jimping up high on it because what I notice is when people actually use it, they put their thumb up here when they go to boot push cuts with it. We also have a secondary grip with it, which in uh, a lot of those ways of combat and all that good stuff, we got what's called an ice pit grip. So there's more jimping down here. Nice big pommel in case you got to use it for anything. And the ergos come ready to go. Either way, and this is a smaller little evil. This is a five and three quarter inch cutting edge on this one. Now, for the bigger version of that, we got a seven inch cutting edge, just a hair less aggressive on the recurve. We went with a reverse tanto tip on this. So that tip is gonna be extra strong for piercing, getting into whatever you gotta get into and getting right out of it. Nice recurve on this. So what happens is the softer areas when you cut, stab in and cut out, it ends up catching all that right here in this little uh, uh, area of the recurve and it does a good job of bunching up and the knife does exactly what it's supposed to do. We went with an eight millimeter thick M2 speed steel on it. It's very, very, very wear resistant. We went with a uh, non-reflective finish uh, in case anybody decides that they need that. And I'm thinking we're just putting out the absolute best fighter that we could possibly put out uh, because if somebody's going to have something with my name on it and they're going to go into any kind of field or campaign of battle, I want them to make sure that they have the absolute best piece of steel that they can have. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, uh, it's interesting because a lot of the work tough guys have really yeah. been going to battle yeah. by chopping, by slashing, by you know all those all of it, woodscraft yeah. tasks, yep. but this is the first fighting style knife really right could you take some of these other designs for fighting sure, sure sure but this is the first purely designed purpose built purpose built fighting knife right. in the work tough catalog yep. and it's got your name on it man that's uh, cool dude i'm stoked i am absolutely <laughs> stoked i'm happy uh that it's there and i'm happy that vic gave me the challenge to go ahead and do it yeah you know what else i like vic's been pushing with different steels and here right. we go again we're bringing in the m4 which i think is a, a really cool option for yep. this i would expect it's probably going to command a slightly higher price point right. of course versus sk85 that we've come to know yep. but at the same time i mean you get a lot of knife with, with any work tough knife just, you get a lot of knife and that's exactly we just entered this into and it's actually m2 i don't mean to i don't I'm mean sorry. to correct you yeah but i just want what to make sure that folks that went m4 oh. same family you go M2, M4, oh, and then there's Rex I, I 45. Blew it. I hate yeah. making mistakes. Oh, man. dude, you know what? It's the best thing in the world, actually, because then we get to learn more. The uh, the idea that though, yeah, we actually entered this as best budget knife uh, in the uh, in the show right now because we think we're putting out such a great value. The fit and finish on this is going to be second to none. If you close your eyes, and you're not going to know where the uh, G10 stops and the actual steel starts. Uh, like you said. M2 steel, which is an upgraded steel from SK85 and, and some of the other steels that we've been using. Uh, you got the nice acid finish on this. When we actually go into production with it, I think we're gonna do some coal bluing with it. One of the other things that you'll see is this eight millimeter forward lanyard hole. That'll get downsized a little bit. So you are looking at an absolute prototype right now. Um, and 
As with all prototypes, things change, as you know. That's right. Uh, before we go into production with them, because we get feedback from it, and just try to make the best thing that we can possibly put in people's hands. And that's what we do for Work Tough. You know what the best part about this whole thing is? What's that? Seeing these end up in people's hands. Isn't that the best? Man? <laughs> that really is the is. best part really about is. this. It's cool to see them riding on people's hips. And, and, and better yet, in the field. Better out in the field and around the world. These knives are literally becoming part of culture around the world which that's is absolutely really true. cool so not to not to just plug our facebook group but we got an awesome facebook group called the work tough adventure team and we do get reports in from everybody all around the world so we know that stuff like bowler k340 is a uh, a, a near stainless steel that's absolutely super tough because we have guys in the jungles of Southeast Asia and just going nuts with that. And then they report back to us, this is what works, this is what doesn't work. And so far it's been a lot of stuff that works and it's, we've, been really, uh, we've been really lucky and really fortunate with that. Uh, Zeke, not only does it work, yeah, it works tough, buddy. It's true, man. Oh, the little evil <laughs> fighter. You got the large Yep, got evil the seven fighter. inch right here. Woo! Yep. In M2 steel. M2 steel, yep. Love it. Speed steel, baby. Coming soon. Yep. Ah. Work tough gear.